Hello. Today's culinary excursion is a Turkish dish named Kavun Dolmasi, which means melon stuffed, stuffed melon. Uh, it's a dish that I've, I saw, I ate back in the mid 60s, 1960s. There was a family that came back from uh, Turkey, Istanbul, Turkey, and the grandmother made this dish for me. And I'll make it for you today. So stick around, come a little closer. So I got some cold water here. And I add my almonds. So it will be nice and easy to remove the skin. And we're going to keep the almonds whole. Because that's how I ate it. I forget the, the lady's name. It was uh, the, the grandmother uh, of the Kutalakis family. And um, the grandmother used to cook, oh my God, she used to make these incredible dishes. And she, uh, she was the first person that we saw in Greece using a duduklu, a, um, a, a pressure cooker, duduklu. And my God, she used to cook amazing dishes. <clears throat> of course, you can buy the almonds uh, already sliced at the supermarket, but this is more fun. The skin comes off nice and easy. And the last one, bunch. Okay. Next, I'm going to work on, um, what is this? This is Angus beef and that I got from the supermarket yesterday. And uh, how much is this? Uh, this is about, not about, exactly, um, 0.6 pounds. Let me move the stuff over. Then I'm going to use my chef's knife here. And I'm going to need a paper towel. So you see this is <clears throat> I'm gonna cut it in small not ground not ground beef but in much smaller pieces. You can use ground beef 
As a matter of fact, that may be the preferred method in Turkish households, but um, I thought this was going to be much uh, leaner and tastier. So, I heard this someplace, what are the three um, secrets of uh, French cuisine, French cooking, and it's butter, butter, and butter. So here too, I'm going to use a little bit of butter to brown the meat, and make a sauce also afterwards. So this is pretty good. Also, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut up a little bit of the inside of the melon because we're going to need that. We're going to make a sauce and so this is going to go here. The only thing you need to be careful, you don't want to puncture the bottom. Oh, this is going to be delicious. And also whatever juices you come up with, you need those juices. They're very important for the for the sauce that you're gonna make. And let's not forget, oops, let's not forget the top of this melon. What you could do, you could use the whole innards of the melon. You can cook them to make the sauce, but then you will have to uh, strain the pits and all that. But I think this is a little bit easier doing it this way. I think this is enough meat. But this is good. So we'll have about two cups worth of uh, the inside of the melon, the meat. And here's my preparation, my mise en place. I have uh, organic cranberries, raisins and uh, prunes, pitted prunes, organic. I have um, <clears throat> half a cup of uh, basmati rice. You can use any kind of rice that you would like. Uh, half a cup, about one cup of uh, water. And I have one large onion. And uh, there's my butter in my pan. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna warm up the pan. The pan is hot. We're gonna get about a good tablespoon of butter. And where's the onion?
In goes the onion. I'm going to let this cook for a couple of minutes and then I'm going to add the ground beef. Alright. And go the ground beef. I'm going to cook this a little bit until it's nice and brown. In the meantime, I'm going to start my oven. I'm going to preheat the oven at 400 degrees. And I have this vessel with just a little bit of water, about a cup and a half of water. And that's where the, the melon is going to cook. Just an interesting note, I used Vidalia onions because these are sweet onions. You can use any kind of onion, you can use red onion too if you would like. But I thought the Vidalia onion will add a different texture to the whole dish. Okay, this is moving along. My almonds. my rice and before I add the water I'm gonna cook the rice a little bit I'm going to add my currants, raisins, and the pitted apricots. Now I will add my water. I will cover this. And I'm gonna check it in about five or min five minutes or so because I wanna make sure that there is enough water to cook the rice. The rice takes about 10 minutes to cook. Um, but I'm only gonna cook it about seven or eight minutes because it's gonna continue cooking once I put it inside the melon. See you in a couple of minutes. This is cooking nicely. I'm going to reduce the heat to two out of the ten to a simmer. Make sure the um, rice is nicely incorporated in there. Again. Uh, you know what, I'm going to turn off the heat now, it's been about six minutes.
let this cook another stay here just the way it is on the element for two more minutes the mixture is looking good you know before I put it in and about a cup of uh, parsley parsley some of my organic dill about a couple of tablespoons of that A little bit of salt. And now we're ready to do the stuffing. Clean this up a little bit so the topping will fall into place. Then we need a little bit of water. This is plain water. And it goes in the oven for about 20 minutes, 400 degrees. degree oven can't wait and now I'm working on the sauce I put the heat up to six I use the same pan that I cleaned it a little bit you don't want to have onion bits on the on the sauce I'm using about a tablespoon of uh, unsalted butter I'm adding 
the mixture that I have from the innards, from the uh, melon, with its juices, and I cut them up a little bit so it's not big and chunky. I'm adding, a nice tablespoon of dill. And I'm using my own dill that I dried. Comes from my garden. And some parsley. Cut up a little bit. I'm also adding a tablespoon of sugar. Also known as the sugar nut. And I'm using a potato musher. I found the pieces to be too chunky. So we're gonna reduce this a little bit to about a half. This looks good. It has reduced quite a bit. Mm, smells yummy. And this is going to go on the table next to the dish with the melon. Wonderful. The Cavun Dolmase is ready. Here comes the difficult part, getting it, getting it out of the oven. Cavun Domase. You can present it like this. But for my Calvun Domase, I'm going to go a step further. Let's see. Oh, hot tub. Uh, 
I'm getting my sharpest knife, a boning knife. Kavun Dolmase at our restaurant for thirty nine ninety five feeds three people. Enjoy. <laughs> 